I forgot my controls. I've been playing too much Pal World. Ow! Oh wait, I live. Okay, the title is a bit of an exaggeration. Obviously, some people use this weapon. I just think its popularity is on the down low, and I feel like it's worth checking out why. I gave the site a try, and here's what I found out. But before we continue, I want you to think back. When was the last time you saw a random teammate run this primary? Did they do well? Or were they, you know, like me? Now personally, I think this weapon must have at least a place in our loadouts since it's kind of unique in a way. You know, like, it actually shoots like a laser. There's another similar weapon that functions kind of a laser but that doesn't even shoot like a beam. And yes, I'm talking about the sickle. What we want is to be a beamy boy. Also, also, this is nowhere close to a meta video so if the meta mongrels can just pull it back as kosh, we can all have a good day. I've always been a fan of the Star Wars franchise, and when they released the sickle, I was giddy that we could finally have a weapon that shoots like laser guns from the movie. But that got old. I used it so much that it got to a point that it just felt bland. But then it hit me. There is another weapon that is also classified as an energy weapon. So here we are. But enough chit chat, let's hop right to it. The LAS-5 Scythe is one of the later weapons that you can get from the Free War Bond. You can get it on page 5, and if you have been playing for a while, you probably already have this. But for those who don't, let me give you a quick rundown. The LAS-5 Scythe is an energy-based weapon. It has a damage per second of 300, fire limit of 8, recoil of 1, and it has light armor penetration. It is a beam, and it is heat-based, which I will show you in a second. So, the Scythe. So what we were talking about earlier, it is... Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the scythe. Basically, it shoots like a laser. What we'll talk about where its description is called as a beam. Um, while it is heat-based, meaning you have essentially unlimited ammo as long as you don't overheat the weapon. It's gonna take a while, guys, so bear with me. Now, if you have over, uh, if you overheated, you can't shoot your gun anymore. You have to reload, change your ice, or change your battery, and then you can do that. So as long as you don't overheat, you essentially have unlimited ammo. If you check your modes, you have your you only have your flashlights. It says zero out of a hundred, but I don't know why it has that there because it's a beam. Very mis uh, very confusing, but it is what it is, I guess. Oh, and it's also worth mentioning that planetary temperatures play a huge role when using this weapon. So colder planets make you overheat slower, and vice versa. In hotter planets, you overheat faster. I use this more against the bots because at the time of recording, we are supposed to push him back and here's how it went. Fighting the smaller grunts, namely the raiders, the gunners, and the dual wielding sword guy thingy, it doesn't really take much to kill them so they go down quick. Berserkers can tank more damage whilst going full Voorhees on you and not to mention that they come in herds so taking them down requires a little bit more work. If you focus your waist or their head, you'll put it down a little bit quicker, but compared to other weapons, it's not as effective. Devastators. You really have to aim for that head, otherwise you are gonna get murked so hard you'll hate fighting on the automaton front again. Personally, I find it more difficult to aim with this weapon, especially at medium to long range, just because of its scope design. It's kinda... Eh. It has light armor penetration, so shooting the striders up front doesn't do anything. I wish that wasn't the case, seeing as it's a laser beam, I think it should be able to melt certain armors if fired upon continuously. Well, but who am I to say? I am not a scientist or anything, but that's just my two cents. Against heavies and gunships, don't waste your time using this, it doesn't do anything besides letting me know your location and letting them send your hell diver to, I don't know, uh, super hell, I guess, or super heaven, I don't know. All in all, I think it's not great, but not that bad either. With its damage output, it feels like more of a sidearm more than a primary. I tried using it like that by running an MG. It kinda worked, but not the greatest experience. Definitely not that good, but still kinda usable in my opinion. 
Against the Terminids, you might think, hey, this probably might work or blah 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 because it has unlimited ammo. Bro, let me tell you what, this weapon is just a nightmare to use. Having a lot of medium armor enemies and swarms of hunters all the time, the time to kill for every unit is just too long for it to be even close to viable. For easier difficulties, maybe I can see it work, but for 7 and higher, where swarms are more frequent, it is not a fun experience. Now let's get to the matter at hand. Why is the scythe not being used more? And I think the answer is pretty simple. It's weak and it needs some kind of buff. I know people are gonna be like, oh, weapons are not supposed to be the best or does everything, which I agree with 100%. But if a weapon is too weak to do anything, I think it's actually worth looking into it and maybe adjust it a little bit to have its place in our loadouts. For me, this weapon is more of a sidearm than a primary, since what I would define primary is, is that it's your first choice when it comes to dealing with chaff. And the site does a pretty bad job at it. I can think of maybe a few things that might make this weapon better. Maybe a melting point kind of thing where extended amount of time fired at the unit pierces armor or deals more damage, that kind of stuff. But who knows? Maybe Arrowhead will buff it in the future because as of now, if you want an energy type weapon, there's no reason to use this when the sickle exists. But then again, this is just my own opinion and if you think that this weapon is fine as it is and it's just underrated, feel free to let me know. And that is it for the video. I intend to try all the other weapons that, you know, a few people are just using just to check it out on why or maybe it is just underrated so do keep an eye out for that with that said i take my leave go and spread freedom helldiver <laughs>